Come on, Stan. Come on, Stan. What do I say? What do I say? What do I say? Anyways, if you are new here, subscribe to my channel, leave a like and a comment down below. Welcome. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, what's up, DDT gang? I know I've been missing. It's kind of loud out here. I don't want to be yelling down the street early in the morning. Everybody gonna be looking at me right So um yeah. Um I'm currently outside right now. When I get back to where I'm going, I'm gonna tune back in with y'all. Anyways, y'all, we got some um I gotta catch y'all up. We got some y'all. I gotta update y'all. We got some catching up to do. Um, I know y'all. I ain't been on here in a few months. I haven't been giving you guys no updates, especially on the um surgery and stuff like that. Um, but it's coming soon. I just wanted to make this video because it's long overdue, and I'm in a better space. I'm in a better place. There's so many people here. I gotta get used back to vlogging, y'all. There's so many people. I just hate people be looking at you so weird when you be vlogging and shit. But, um, like I was saying, I thought I'm about to slide. I ain't even gonna lie. Because it was cooler this morning, but now the sun is out. And as you can see, it is beaming. It's hotter than a motherfucker. So, hey you guys, I am back. I ain't for the whole job. I was dead ass for to go to sleep. And then I had just got up and I was like, dang, I gotta finish the vlog off. Um, um, so I'm gonna pick up where I left off. Like, yeah, I just wanna um catch you guys up on, you know, what's been going on with me. Cause I have real loyal subscribers on my channel that really, like that really fuck with me for real like that really watch my videos interact engage you know even hit me up on my social medias and um you know such and such you know what i'm saying so they're more than fans they're more than the subscribers like we're a family here so i feel the need to really you know give you guys um insight on you know what's been going on with me and why i've been missing because i've been off social media for a few months and i just want to like catch you guys up on a few things um give y'all a little update i know for a fact you guys um i'm being part um anticipating on these the surgery updates which is coming it's in the vault it's coming but um i have videos and vlogs that i was supposed to have been put out way before you know the surgery updates and stuff like that so i'm just gonna pull those out the chamber get them out of here and then for sure, I will be dropping the tummy tuck surgery update. If you guys haven't watched my previous videos, um, go watch my um, previous videos. Um, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to my channel. Leave a like and a comment. Watch my previous videos. Become a part of ZDC Gang. Um, my name is Dimples. My name is Dimples. Um, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> so let's just get right into it, y'all. Like, cause this is not scripted. So let me just get right into it. I'm very I'm a very private person and I don't like to express my feelings and express myself, especially if we not um especially if <clears throat> you know 
if I don't know you like that. So I'm very private. I'm, I'm, I'm a cancer, so I'm always in my show. And especially when I'm going through stuff, like I will hide away from the world. I will disappear. I will become a ghost. And that's ex literally what I did. So to begin with, you guys, um, I'm no longer in Florida. Guess where I'm at? Guess where I'm at? Take a good guess where I'm at, because I'm pretty sure it's a lot of y'all already know where I'm at. Um, only family members, but it's a lot of y'all already know what I'm at. I think y'all got an idea of where I'm at. So I'm not going to tell y'all where I'm at just yet. Put in the comments down below where y'all think I'm at right now. And yeah, I want to see where y'all headed. I want to see if y'all um, geographer, or if, if that's even a word, you know, whatever that means. But anyways, y'all. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I'm no longer in Florida. I'm not gonna tell y'all where I'm at, but I've been here for like um, four months. I, I came here in May. It, today is what, so September 8th. So I've been here for a few months now. Um, I don't know nobody out here. I only know like two people. I only know, I only know two people out here. And one of the and one of the per people that I do know, he don't even know I'm out here. When he find out I'm out here, he really gonna be like, so that's what we doing? That's how you feel? I bet. I even cut off contact with him, what, late May, like, late May, probably the 28th of May. And it wasn't, it, and it wasn't on no cut off type situation. It was just like, I'm going through too much right now, and I don't want to deal with nobody. I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to be around nobody, especially when I'm at my lowest. That's a no-go. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a potential, you know, candidate. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't have you, I can't have you around me when I'm going through my times, my trials and tribulations, you know what I'm saying? I wanna get my shit together, wanna make sure I'm on PZ. Then, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, enough of that. So you guys, um, I actually, well, it makes sense for me to, to tell y'all where I'm at because I have a video of me getting on a plane, you know what I'm saying, going to New York, so, um, I want to update you guys, you know, um, and I need to, f and I, I want to update you guys and I want to, um, let, like, not only update you guys, but I also want to finish up videos and vlogs that I have previously been, um, recording. So it does make sense to tell y'all where I'm at because where I'm going, where I'm at is in the videos. Anyways, I'm going to let y'all check out these videos and then we're gonna come back
if I get where I'm going, I'm going to see with y'all later. I'm here anymore. I'm going to see with you guys later. That's my first time on a plane, you guys. Like, that was my first time getting on a plane. I am 26 years old and never been on a plane a day in my life until that day. Um, so the purpose of that trip to New York, I was supposed to come to New York to um I was supposed to basically come to New York, get my crib, and be and move out here and move out here the ending of April. Because I came like April 1st, April 3rd. So I was supposed to come out here to get my crib and um, be out here the end of April, but life happened, things changed, and um, we're not gonna get into details of that. But I ended up coming out here anyways. So I left May and I literally drove out here. Cause people always be thinking, you know what I'm saying, you cap. So I literally drove, um, 16 hours i drove 16 hours to get here where i'm at now where at in new york i'm at that's none of your business you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna tell y'all where i'm at but i have been to brooklyn i've been to queens i've been to okay i've been to brooklyn i've been to queens i've been to manhattan i've been to harlem um what else i've been to i've been to uh what's that shit called long island that's a cap. I've never been alone. Long Island. What is that called? I don't, I don't. Anyways, forget it. But I haven't been outside to like really enjoy the city. Um, when I first got out here, I'm not even gonna lie. I, it felt like home. And my first place that I um, went to was Queens. And it was like the air is different. Energy is different. Surround is different. Everything is different. And um yeah i just felt like at home and i'm gonna show you guys on my way here me driving here i got all my stuff arranged in my car packed all my things in my car and left
driving here. Um, I was vlogging on and off, but you know, I was too busy focusing on the road, so I didn't get everything. Um, so yeah, that was me getting here. And I've been here ever since. So yeah, that's a little update for you guys too. So for those, like I told y'all before, because a lot of people was hitting me up in my DMs before, and um, everybody was like, you need to come to New York. When you come to New York, pop out, da 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 da, -da. I was coming to New York anyway. I was been supposed to be out here. Like I was been, I was already coming to New York. Um, and it's crazy because when I was younger, like when I was in high school and it was time for me to graduate before, um, um, my grandmother was going to send me out here to go to Julia Arts anyway. So I was supposed to been out here years ago and I graduated in 2014. So when I say I was supposed to have been here, I don't know if it feels like destiny or whatever. I don't know. But I was supposed to have been out here like for a long time coming i was supposed to have been out here so i'm finally out here and um i'm not gonna put y'all in, in my business i'm not gonna be telling y'all what i'm up to but y'all will see gradually and i'm gonna make sure i take you guys along with me i will be vlogging consistently um and yeah like um i'm out here so yeah you guys that's that on that okay why have i been missing okay so I went missing. Um, I was like not only posting, um, not only stopped posting on YouTube, I was off my social media for months. Um, my mother died a week before my birthday and her funeral was a day after my birthday. So um, it's like, you know, I just been like, and then I'm out here by myself, literally, no family, no friends, no nothing. Even when I was home, I didn't have no family, no friends. But anyways, here, it's like I'm in a whole new world, a whole new space, a whole new everything, and then that happens. I was not able to go back down south to attend any viewings, funerals. Um, I didn't even get a chance to actually physically go and see her when she was um transcending in the hospital and stuff like that um i talked to her over the phone on facetime and when i spoke with and when i talked to her she was supposed to be so-called paralyzed um and stuff like that and um when i talked to her and she heard my voice it was just like a tear came out her eye like i was just like I, I was just, it just, it did, that really did something to me. And um, I didn't even feel like she was gonna be leaving. Like, I didn't even feel like, oh, she's gonna die. Like, I was not, it wasn't given, she's gonna leave. But a few days afterwards, she did pass. And it was like, I cried when I got the news, but I didn't break down. I didn't grieve, you know what I'm saying? I just cried as soon as I heard about it, and that was it, because I was around people. I had to keep a smile on my face, you know? I didn't, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm emotional, I wear my emotions on my sleeve and stuff like that, but um, I was just like not able to break down, express myself and grieve how I really wanted to. I had to stay strong, and then on top of that, I was already going through a bunch of shit, y'all. Like, I was, I've been going through it. When I say, you know, you know, a lot of people just can just be like, oh, I'm going through it right now. Like, I ain't got time for this. Like, no, I was literally going through some shit, y'all. I don't want to um, elaborate on it, but I was already going through some shit. Yeah, like, I didn't want to elaborate on it. And, you know, it's like, for me, I was already going through, um, I was already going through a bunch of shit, y'all. And it's like, every time it was just something like back to back to back to back to back to back. It was like, I was just dealing with stuff and I was eating it up, dealing with shit, eating it up, dealing with shit, eating it up. And it's like, I'm, to be honest, right now where I'm at, I feel like I'm in a better place, but it's like, I'm a second time bro. I'm not even gonna cap with you. Like, it's like, I still haven't I still haven't grieved yet. Um I still haven't broke down to my knees. I still have been, you know, and like 
I still haven't had a, I feel like right now I've been trying to heal from everything that I've been going through the past few, four months. And like, I haven't really, I haven't really broke down. Like I haven't, I haven't, I haven't been in a vulnerable space to literally be in the moment and really be vulnerable and really express myself and really cry and really, you know, be angry, be mad. Cause every, I just have everything to be honest with you. I have everything like just built up inside and I, I'm not, it's, 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 it's not good, but I'm just saying like, that's where I'm at right now. So I just feel like, I just wanted to update you guys on that, you know, let you guys know what's been good and what's been going on. Um, I just like it's just like I've just been taking hit hits back to back, blow for blow, blow for blow, and it's like God damn. I mean, like I know I'm a soldier, like, but I'm still human at the same time. Like this, 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 this shit can blow any minute. You know what I'm saying? So I try to distance, um, distance myself from people. I haven't been um, being socializing with people and no none of that i cut everybody off i ain't been talking to nobody y'all i ain't been talking to nobody i ain't been dealing with nobody people see me on the streets and i know for a fact um my energy's been off because even when i'm in the streets i'm walking the streets people will look at me or people you know what i'm saying to walk away from me and shit like that because of my energy my presence and shit like how i what i be on already because i'm it's you know, it's like, it's seeping through the seams. Like, motherfuckers see that. And it's like, um, when I like when I was going through the shit, it was like, I don't even want to be outside. I, I didn't want to be outside. I can't even get out of bed sometimes. Stayed in, <clears throat> stayed in bed for days upon days. Literally in the bed. Literally in the bed, y'all. And it's like, I done came out of that space. And what helped me was um, me journaling um me praying and um also what's what was helping me i just like distanced myself from everybody i stayed in my shell i just dealt with everything that i was going through on my own oh my goodness but yeah you guys like i was saying i was just like Y'all ignore the background. It is so annoying. Oh my gosh. I was just like in my own show. I this is my I cut everybody off. Um intentionally and some and, and some not intentionally, but I just really like was dealing with my problems alone by myself. Um, like really in my feelings, like you know what I'm saying? I was really in my head. My mental health was not good. Uh, physical health was not good. Wasn't nothing going good for me um, um, a few months ago. But, you know, I'm in a better space. I've, you know, I took stuff day by day, um, baby steps. And as you can see, my energy is different. Um, I, my energy is different. I feel better. Um, I feel like I'm getting to, a lot of people was interacting with me today. So I feel like, you know, I'm getting better, you know, I'm not perfect, I'm still human. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's that's that on that, y'all. I don't wanna get too deep, because I'm not, this is not gonna, gonna be no crime fest. I'm not fit for to be around crime. And I feel like, how this has changed me, I feel like I didn't grow, um, I didn't put up so many walls, and I didn't grow, um, like a tough skin, tough armor, after I done been through this, because it's like, now, as I like, I'm very emotionless. Like, I don't know when the last time I cried. Um, like, before I was sensitive, I'll be quick to snap, I'll be quick to, you know, and it's just like, right, like now where I'm at right now, it just takes a lot for me to get angry. It takes a lot for me to, you know what I'm saying, to budge. And I feel like that's what I'm kind of scared of being nonchalant, being emotionless, because that's not who I am, but it's helping me heal. It's helping me release and remove people, places, and things 
that don't serve my higher self any good, you know, users, people that's, you know, envious, people that's hating, people that's, you know, don't want to see you doing good for yourself or for your family, none of that. Like, it just helped me release and remove people, places, and things, all the toxic toxicity. How do you say that shit? Anyways, it just helped me remove all of that out of my life. And I feel like day by day, slowly, that I am, you know, getting better. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I wanted to catch up with you guys about, you know what I'm saying? Give you a little give you a little insight and a little explanation, a little update on what, how, and why, and where have I been. And, you know, I haven't been on social media. Um, you guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload because I will be uploading um, my Instagram. Y'all, my Instagram got hacked 50 million times. Like, that's something... Please stay tuned because I'm a, you know, I'm showing receipts. I'm going to get into details about that because that right there is some crazy ass shit. I was so scared. That's another reason why I've been on social media too because I was so scared to even use my account. Because every time I use my account, it was like, bam, bam. Like, my shit get hacked soon as I use my account. So it's like, I was scared to use my account for a long ass time. But that's a story for another day make sure you guys stay tuned for that because i will be oh hold on hold on now i think i should go downstairs put my lashes on hold on <laughs> y'all don't mind me but no back to what i was saying what was i saying um um, you guys, focus, focus, focus. You got to stay focused. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's what I um. That's gonna be another story for another day. Um, I'm gonna upload and let y'all uh, let you guys know how my shit got hit, why I got hit, and how I got my shit back. So be to be um. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I got your post notification bells on, so you guys be um notified when that drop. And then I'm gonna have my um surgery vlogs updates dropping as well and then everything that i'm working on right now everything that i've been doing behind the scenes i'm going to take you guys um on a journey a longer journey with me um keep you guys keep you guys in tune on what i got going on because i like i am the i am the definition of going ghost i am the definition of hiding in your shell i am the definition of privacy like i don't discuss nothing with nobody I tried that millions of times. I had to put my pride to the side, what, a year or two ago to even, you know, open up to even ask somebody for help. You know, that's that's hard for me. So um, I was doing that and get no help, no nothing. Um, but at the end of the day, this is all my trials and tribulations. It's the lesson for me. This didn't do anything but um, motivate me to grow and I'm getting better. I feel better. My energy is different, as you can see. I know you can tell, right? But yeah, you guys, that's all I wanted to catch you guys up on. Um, I had to take that ponytail out because that shit was too tight. And look at look at my edges, y'all. Look at my edges. This is how you know when the ponytail was tight because it's like my front's loose. I'm going to have to take them down and redo them. But um, yeah. And I do my, y'all know I do my own hair because we talked about this before. But yeah, I, um, that ponytail was giving me a headache and I was just about to go to sleep. But I just wanted to finish this vlog off and um i will see you guys in my next video um make sure to follow me on all my social media um platforms is in the description box below and i'm gonna leave them here on the screen make sure you are tuned in put that note um subscribe to my channel make sure that post notification bell is on and um i will see you guys in my next video oh yeah i'm gonna see you guys soon
Y'all are loud. I don't even know what to say to y'all right now. Like, I did as. Don't even know what to say to y'all. I'm not even gonna cap. I don't know what to say to y'all right now. I think I forgot how to blow. I think I forgot how to come, how I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? All right.